What is going on guys? Crichton here. So I'm just bringing you guys some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And as you can see in the title of the video, we're going to be grabbing all of the assault rifles from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And I'm going to be putting them, I'm going to be comparing them to see which one is the best, whether it be you know damage, accuracy, fire rate, etc. Through uh, personal preference and through stats. So let's get into the video. Let's start off with the AK-12 here. AK-12G, as a matter of fact. Which uh, originated from Ghost, that's where the G comes from, AK-12 Ghost. So as you can see here, the damage is 10, accuracy 9, fire rate 8, range 12, handling 9, and mobility 12. So this gun is really, really good, in my opinion. Um, has some really, really nice range. And as you can see here, the mobility is actually 12, which is actually the highest rate for the assault rifles. So it is actually one of the heavier assault rifles, but um, as you can see in the gameplay, it works really, really well going against multiple enemies um if i would say anything bad about this gun i would say maybe a better clip so you might want to you know have maybe uh extended mags or you know stuff like that um the accuracy i would personally say it's really really good with iron sight you can use uh red dot sight if you're feeling you know that's not really working out really well for you uh the fire rate is one of the slower ones again but um really really good overall um, the range is really, really good. Like I said before, you can get enemies from really, really far range and, you know, be pretty precise with it as well. Um, the damage is one of the middle, you know, side. It's not too strong, but it's not too weak at the same time. Alright, so the next gun we have here is the BAL-7, which in my opinion is a really, really good, well-rounded gun for all the maps. So, here are the stats. Um, have damage 9, accuracy 8, fire rate 14, range 10. Handling 9 and mobility 10. So the damage is actually uh, one of the lower damages for the assault rifles. And as well as the accuracy is only 8, which is actually the lowest out of all the um, assault rifles. But as you can see here, the fire rate is actually 14, which is the highest. And the range is actually kind of a low as well. But the mobility, on the other hand, is the fast, uh, you know, the quickest out of all the assault rifles. So you can get it on really, really quick. So, in my opinion, I would say this gun is more of a, like a run and gun class. You know, if you like to run and, you know, get behind the enemy, get a quick kill and keep on going really, really quick, I would say this is pretty much the gun for you. Um, I got some really, I had some nice, you know, um, time with this gun. And it's actually definitely going on my class. So, uh, let's get into the next gun. Alright, so next here we have the ARX 160. And so the stats are damage 9, accuracy 11, fire rate 10, range 13, handling 8, and mobility 9. So as you can see here, the damage is 9, and that's around, you know, the middle section, not too strong, again, not too weak. The accuracy is actually the best out of all the assault rifles, so if you want to get, you know, a really, really accurate kill, and you don't really like, you know, having a lot of uh, recoil, this would be a nice gun. Um, the fire rate is again average. The range is also one of the best out of all of the assault rifles. Matter of fact, the best out of all the assault rifles. So, you know, um, the accuracy and the range go hand in hand and, you know, it'd be really, really good, you know, class to make. Um, so the handling is 8, which is actually one of the lower ones. And then the mobility is again 9. So that is also one of the lighter guns to be carrying around as you're going through making your kills and sweeping up people. So, um, in my personal preference, I would say that this gun is pretty good. Um, 3 on burst, not really my specialty. Um, even though the accuracy is actually 11, I would still say medium to close range because um, depending if you're close, it'll take one shot, but if you're medium range, it'll take uh, roughly around two. If you're actually long range, I would give it two or three. So it's um, it's pretty trustworthy as long as you're close enough range. But either way, it's a really good gun. All right, so let's get into the next gun. All right, so next here we have the HBR A3, aka the Maverick from Call of Duty Ghost. And so the stats in this gun are damage eight, accuracy ten, fire rate ten, range eight, handling fourteen, and mobility ten. So. Um, as you can see here, the damage is actually uh, one of the lowest out of all these sorry fools, and the accuracy is average, fire rate average, the range is actually one of the lower ones as well. And now, what you might think about this gun is, oh well, you know, considering the damage and, you know, the range are really, really horrible, this gun is going to be ass. So, 
Um, that's understandable, but if you actually look at the gameplay um, and just try the gun out for yourself, you actually see that this gun is really, really good. So even though the damage and range are really, really low, it actually doesn't even go with the stats completely. So this one is more personal preference. Um, this gun is really good in close range, middle range, and far range, in my opinion, because I do really, really well with this gun, and I really, really do like it. So, um, what makes this gun so good is the, the handling, because when you fire, you make sure that it's always an accurate kill, you know, you're not, like, you know, having a lot of super recoil and everything else like that. So, um, give this gun a try, it's really, really one of the best. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much for this gun, let's go to the next one. Alrighty guys, so the next gun we have here is the IMR, and uh, so as you can see here, the stats are damage 14, accuracy 9, fire rate 9, range 9, handling line 9, and mobility 10. So as you can see here, the damage is actually the highest and the strongest uh, assault rifle in the game um, so far, and the accuracy, fire rate damage, etc., they're all pretty much um, around the middle, you know, not too strong, not too weak again. Um, mobility, you know, pretty much the same throughout all the assault rifles, except for a few, and, you know, it's pretty average. But, um, a thing about this gun, again, is it's a four-round burst, and it also, what it does is it prints ammo to, um, save, to save some. So, what it'll do is, when you reload, um, in, in this game, when you lose, you lose ammo when you reload, not like other Call of Duties. So what this gun will do is it'll actually you know help you preserve your ammo to help you get another kill, and uh, that can be really helpful, especially if you're fast reloading by double tapping X. You know, it can really really help and save your life. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this gun again. Um, let's get on to the next one. All right, guys. So lastly, we have the MK14, and uh, as you can see, the stats here are damage 11, accuracy 12, fire rate 7 range 10, handling 9, and mobility 10. So the damage is the second highest out of all the assault rifles, so it's really, really strong. The accuracy is actually the best out of all the guns, so you can get really, really far range kill, and, you know, um, it's actually really, really good as close range too, and as long as you can pull the trigger fast enough, because it is semi-automatic. Um, the fire rate is low, um, the range is 10, the handling 9 like I said, and mobility is 10, so you know, those are pretty much average stats throughout all the assault rifles, so it's pretty much average there. Um, so, yeah, the assault rifle is really good as you can see in the gameplay, um, I guess a uh, lot of kills far away, and even some close, um, so yeah, this gun is really good. Uh, that's pretty much it for today's video, hope you guys did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And, uh, just please leave a like, you know, it really help, does help support, you know, me making more videos, especially ones like these that are better. Um, so like I said, again, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.